day one of avoiding riding a bike so I actually get better because I've had this stupid cold for way too long now. I'm in a car with Lawrence and we're looking for a location to do something which I think is, I think it's a bit dangerous. I don't trust it. But it's your job to convince me that it's gonna be okay. And then later on, we're gonna make him do a horrible Zwift race. While I sit and watch and just eat food. And laugh at me. And laugh at you. No, I'll be your swanny. Get your pre-race nutrition sorted. This next segment might be interesting for anybody who wants to attach a bike to their car, but it also might go seriously wrong. Do you have any faith in this whatsoever, do you? Very little. They're like professional graded suckers. Sounds very weird when I say it like that, yeah. So Lawrence is doing a brand deal with uh, the company that I've sent him this box. And inside of this box, there is a sucker that goes on the roof of your car. And then you put your trust in the sucker to carry your bike safely from one location to another. <laughs> no, 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 no. This goes wrong, it'll be a great video. Didn't Team Sky use these on their Jaguars? Maybe the sports one. I'm guessing this is for the back wheel, and the single one's for the front wheel. Other way around. That's that's for the fork. This supports the back wheel so that if you slam on the brakes, your bike doesn't go boom. But each of these suckers are supposed to hold 20 kilos of weight. Obviously your bike's not that heavy. Ribble might be. Where does the front wheel go? Uh, in the car. <laughs> Can you read? Yeah, but the sun's so bright, I can't actually read it. Comes all the air out. So it's three suckers on the front just for safety reasons. Yeah. So if one fails, there's yeah, still totally, two. Totally. And then just one on the back with a tiny strap. Well, let's see if the bike is still there after we drive to the studio. When I rag it around the roundabouts. Yes, would you guys trust this? Put it in the comments down below. The, the roof of your car is kind of bending as you... Yeah, it does bend. <laughs> I was using quavers as a tripod. Still there? Yes. We've made it a mile down the road. He wanted to get out and check. He's still there. He's still there. Still there. How do I get a brand deal from these guys? Oh, wow, I probably need a car first, don't I? Yeah. Uh, we are here on a bank holiday Monday. At whilst, work. Whilst everyone else is riding bikes and that, but you're not allowed to, are you? So Garmin sent me two of the new Tax Neo motion plates. And it just so happens, Lawrence has got a Zwift race that he's doing later. So we're gonna unbox them install them and see how they ride. Instructions. So it's these two stick bits and then a slightly different style looking front bit where your front wheel goes in. I've managed to immediately lose the instruction manual so I'm gonna try and install them without it. Now, the underneath, the underneath has feet. These have magnets on. Surely not. Is that it? So smooth. Well, there goes my educational video segment on how to install them. You just put them on. Like I was saying, this piece is slightly different to the old one, which has kind of got a big dip inside it, I guess, so the front wheel can roll back and forwards. They've made this flat. So hopefully when Lawrence is riding it, he won't be riding up and downhill really quickly, like he would on that one. You look fantastic. Very warm in here. We've got to go to the extreme. So a quick look at the setup. We have got a VacMaster 50K an hour fan, a Shaolin wind machine fan, Tax Neo 2T with the new motion plates, Tax tablet stand with Lawrence's iPad in. I hope you got enough battery. And we're gonna do you a lovely carb mix. But now we can't. You have no water. Let the suffering commence. When I signed up, there was only 35. Now there's 55 on the start line. With 30 seconds to go to the start, including some guy called Zimmerman that I think I recognize the name. I think he's quite good at Zwift or something. And we're in the A category, which says between four and six watts per kilo for 38 kilometers. So just under an hour. Here we go. The 
rocking feels a lot more natural when you actually kind of don't think about it. Just get on with your riding. It's nice. We're 8k into this one. There's one guy who's just gone up the road. He's 20 seconds ahead on his own. And everyone else is saying, flag him, flag him. He's cheating. There's no way. There's like 30 of us. Yeah. Dirty cheats, even on Zwift. Funny. Yeah. How are they all so fast? Oh, you tell me. They probably do this every night. 4.5 watts per kilo for 50 minutes. We're late for dazings. Zwift racing looks absolutely brutal. Do you think it's a good thing to do instead of training? Instead of? No, it's too intense. It wouldn't do you any good replacing all of your training for Zwift racing. But. If you want to supplement a few of your top end sessions for a race, 100%, it's awesome. The thing is about training is you'll struggle to ever get the same amount out of yourself as you can when you're racing. The Rosses are after me, Francis. Oh shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I'm in the bus lane now. If I get a ticket, I'm gonna be raging. But you definitely get strong. Like if, if you did racing on Zwift and then racing in real life, you definitely feel the benefits. But ultimately at the end of the day, it's still a game. Like you have to play it as if it's a game. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very different, but but it's a good workout, and you'll you'll go you'll go pretty well off it if you do that on a consistent basis. That's for sure. It's funny how many people you got beaten by today, and I bet they wouldn't beat you in a real life race. Oh, absolutely, no way, yeah. no way. Yeah. So yeah, it certainly is its own discipline. Maybe I need to try one. Have you never done a Zwift race? No. But if I do, I'm gonna have like five fans <laughs> and a doping program in the weeks leading up to it. Oh, I see. Mm. And Stoker. And Stoker. Yeah. We've been to the big smoke, Francis. We forgot to sweep the floor. Oh, no. I bet you haven't actually had any. We forgot. Have anything. 